Hey buddy, how's it going? Tonight I wanted to talk about dealing with disappointment. And nothing has come up recently that popped into my head for this talk, but I thought about, hey, we haven't talked about this in a while, or maybe ever, and it's always good to discuss how we can deal with disappointment in our businesses because it's going to come no matter what. <laughs> no matter what business stage you're in, uh, what your goals are, there's gonna come at least one time, if not more, that you are disappointed in either yourself or your team or your uh, skills or your um, inability to go to certain events. And how can we combat that disappointment and move on? But um, so first of all, and I have no notes for this for this uh, talk tonight, so I'm just gonna kind of go off the cuff. But um, there's a lot of stuff that can happen in our businesses that ends up disappointing it, us, but. There's ways that we can also move past that and how can we use that as a fuel, you know, for our fire uh, to, to move beyond it and to grow as business leaders. So um, a lot of times when we're starting out, we make these goals for how big, you know, as, if us as business builders, how big are we going to grow our business and how fast. And I definitely recommend setting goals, setting those goals because those are important to have something to work towards. Um, we have those top level dreams of our dream life of um, how it's going to be when we make it to the top. And the goals are what get us there and being able to knock those off of our list and accomplish things is what motivates us to keep going. So goals are great, um, but sometimes uh, things don't work out either as fast as we were planning or as, as, as well as we were planning or not exactly the path we thought we would have to take <laughs> to get to the goal. Um, but that's just life. That's how it goes sometimes. And a lot of unexpected things will come up. And we have to learn how to uh, move around those and move beyond those in order to keep functioning and keep pursuing our goals. Um, so a lot of times when we're, when we're first growing, you know, we're like, hey, we're going to get to silver in six or um, gold in three years or platinum in a year. And at this point, James and I have been trying for, trying for platinum for a couple of years now. And um, our skill set isn't there because um, we're not there yet. So obviously we haven't grown enough as leaders to either get enough signups or get enough business builders or motivate enough people under us to grow our organization to the point it needs to be to qualify for platinum. And I'm okay with that. Um, it is disappointing, but it's also um, comes with the, the realization that we only have so much time now that we can spend on our businesses. And if we were able to spend more, we would be seeing results in a quicker um, quicker fashion. So you have to also realize your, your current limitations, um, what skills you might need to grow in, the time that you actually have to dedicate to the business, and um, decide if, uh, if you're happy in those areas, if you're doing as much as you possibly can in those areas that you wanna grow in, then maybe this is the rank that, you, that all that you can achieve for now. Um, but if you make a different plan for, um, say, a different tactic or a different um, sign up, you know, kind of, uh, what do I want to say, <laughs> a way of uh, kind of going on a blitz, a sign up blitz or hosting lots of parties, um, making a new plan for uh, what your new tactic should be, that will change your results. So if you're looking for different results, we need to have different practices. And a lot of times um, we can we can get into the habit of just deciding that we're bummed out about the situation and we just want to complain about it um, instead of actually trying something new that might affect, uh, affect our results that we're getting. So uh, what we want to do instead of just sitting in our disappointment <laughs> is, um, like I mentioned, look at our skill set. What results are we not getting? Um, and why are we disappointed about that? Um, how can we increase our results in that area, which might take um, some new education, might take some training, might take some uh, leadership information, reading more books on certain subjects. A lot of times it comes down to our personal development. So look at those skills that you might need to be working on. And if you're not in kind of a sign up craze right now, uh, you should at least be working on your personal development. Um, but if, if you're not getting signups and you want a lot of signups, maybe you need to focus on having more home parties or uh, prospecting more people or going out there and uh, putting out flyers at different businesses around town. Uh, talking to more people uh, increases your chance of getting more people on your team. So um, 
just look at the results that you're not getting and decide uh, why you're not getting those and what areas you might need to grow in to get those results. And uh, a lot of uh, what I think plays a big part into this as well, though, is our outlook. So um, we might be disappointed in the moment when something doesn't come through or even as something as simple as we've been talking to a friend for months or a year or years about signing up and they just decide, okay, it's, it's really not for them. Or how about this situation? They decide to buy from somebody else and it really hurts our feelings. And we have that just deep pit of despair and disappointment in the moment about how our friend betrayed us. Um, it's all about our outlook. So we can focus on the bad. We can, we can linger on that and ruminate about that, but that's not going to help us any. So instead I, I try to, um, and this is a process, but I try to uh, turn myself to the positive in this situation. What's the silver lining? Um, where can we go from here? Because we should still be excited that our friend, who we love dearly, uh, is using oils at all. <laughs> um, and we're sad that she didn't buy from us because not only did we not get the sign-up bonus, but more importantly, she's not on our direct team. So it takes our time away from our own team that we're growing. Um, but we should be really excited that she's using a healthier product for her her family. And that should be kind of the underlying goal of what we're going for anyway, helping people improve their, their health, their wealth, and their um, their happiness through, through essential oils. So um, having that positive outlook, and this is a task. I mean, I've been training my brain to do this over the past few years. Uh, it's, it's how can I... What, you know, what's the good in this situation? How can I focus on that instead? How can I move past that? And um, no matter what happens in those, you know, disappointing situations, you still learn something from that. So we can use that uh, now to go ahead and, uh, and move ahead and say, okay, obviously something I did uh, didn't work at that point. So where did I go wrong? <laughs> what step did I miss? What did I not explain as well as I could have? Um, maybe I didn't explain how, how great it is to be on my team, how much I love to support my organization, um, all the things that I'm doing, whether that's monthly um, educational classes or I help people launch their own businesses. Maybe you missed a step there. Um, maybe you just didn't explain how great the oils are to begin with. So we need to that ties back to the skills that we currently have. Maybe we missed a step because we didn't have that skill set yet and we didn't even know we were missing it. Um, so using uh, using the, the disappointment to to f at least find the loopholes and the, the places that you might be lacking. So that can help help us build that list of things that we need to work on, the personal development that still needs to come. And um, even if we are disappointed in a situation, we can we can use that to set new goals. So you know, if you didn't make a certain rank or you didn't sign up as many people as you were hoping by the deadline that you had set, um, maybe you need to just reanalyze, okay, was that a realistic goal? Did you work hard enough for that goal? And we review it and we decide on a new plan. And that's just life anyway. That's our lives, that's our family situations, That's a, and that's definitely our businesses because it's not all going to go according to plan because who wouldn't love to have come into Young Living, <laughs> signed up as, as a distributor, and been Royal Crown Diamond the next day, making buco bucks every month. I mean, obviously, everybody would love to do that, but that's not the reality of the situation. So how can we build our skill set to attain those goals that we've set for ourselves and uh, attack those um, in the midst of disappointment? And honestly, guys, outlook and positivity are going to affect so much more than your skills um, in the matter anyway. And I, I kind of talked about that before with my aptitude versus attitude talk. Um, but we have essential oils that it can help us <laughs> have a, a greater uh, outlook on our situations. You know, we have we have the oils, so why don't we use them? We use the motivation oil, we use the, the stress away oil, we use the inspiration oil, we use citrus oils to help uplift, uplift us and uh, combat that disappointment even. And that's how we uh, work towards uh, being a, not only a, a better business owner, people see the positivity in our lives, uh, people see how we are carrying ourselves in situations, especially in, in disappointing situations. And we're a good example to our teams. And uh, we're just showing people that, you know, no matter what life is going to throw at you, especially in your business, related to your goals and hitting those, um, especially in those times, we are just going to persevere. We're going to stay consistent. We're going to um, just push through those and keep going towards what we want. And that's going to speak um, speak measures about what type of person you are and people are going to want to start to join your team even more so 
that's my, uh, those are my thoughts tonight on dealing with disappointment and uh, everybody's got disappointments and it's how we deal with them that really shows to the world uh, what, what type of person we are. So it's really important to, uh, to have that positive outlook. So that's it for me tonight, guys. Uh, that's my Team Training Tuesday and I hope I see you all again um, in the group and next week as well for another one. See ya!